What up, what up? I'm Eric, and welcome back to another episode of Damn Nuggets. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to seize opportunity the moment you see it. Now, my wife was the first person that I heard repeat the phrase, if you stay ready, then you never have to get ready. I don't really, really remember the context of why she said that. It was probably in relation to her asking me to do something that I wasn't ready to do, but her wanted me to do it anyway. Babe, can you get the Christmas house from the attic? Can you get the other lights from the attic? Garland from the attic? Well, if it's not in the attic, it's in the garage. And if it's not in the garage, it's in the basement. If it's not in the basement, it's at Target. I'll be right back. I'm going to Target. Even still, I sat back and I thought about the context of that statement. And I realized how, how genius it was. I really liked it. And then I heard somebody whose achievements I greatly admire, Will Smith, say the same thing. The commodity that I see the majority of people who aren't getting the places they want or aren't achieving the things that, that they want in this business is strictly based on hustle. It's strictly based on being outworked. It's strictly based on missing crucial opportunities. I say all the time, if you stay ready, you ain't got to get, get ready. ready I'm with you. And once I heard him say it, I locked it in. This is something that I want as a feature of my life so that I'm always ready when opportunity presents itself. Now, for those of you that like to get the nugget and run, the nugget is simple for the day. If you wanna take advantage of opportunity when it presents itself, then you must stay ready. You don't have time to get ready. So stay ready, you don't have to get ready. Stay ready for what, Eric? What are you talking about? Well, in the context of today's topic, we're talking about being ready for the opportunity to live a different kind of life, to do different kind of work, or to make a different kind of impact than the one that you're currently making. That's the opportunity that we're talking about. The reality is, is that most people dream of a life that they never live, and that's mainly because they don't put themselves in a position to live it. Opportunity for life change is more available now than at any other time in human history. But the reality is, is that most people won't be able to take advantage of it because they're living for the day. They're not preparing for the opportunity. Now, there's nothing necessarily wrong with that strategy. It just won't help you to live the type of life that you've been dreaming about living. OK, Eric, you sold me. So how do I get ready and stay ready? I like to keep things simple, so we're going to just boil it down to four steps. And if you've watched previous videos, you'll recognize that these four steps aren't new. Step number one, decide who, where, and what you want to be. Seems simple, right? And it is. But you'd be surprised at how many people never take the time to ask and answer that simple question. Now, when you answer it, it's best to write it down and even better if you can, tell somebody. Now, if you don't have anybody that you trust to be able to tell that to, skip that step. It's better to just write it down than it is to tell it to somebody that can't be trusted that may actually be a hater in disguise. All right, bro. Well, man, whatever, I, man. I'm thinking about quitting and smoking, G. Quitting and yeah, smoking? changing my life for the better, Quit G. Quitting smoking and drinking? Yeah, smoking. That's what you mean? Yeah. What your girl gonna do? She gonna do her. So she gonna keep drinking and smoking? Yeah, that's what What you thing. think she gonna go to then, G? What you mean? You gonna automatically cut yourself out of being her cut. She's gonna gravitate to a dude who drinks and smokes. Stop being stupid. Keep them habits. You need them, bro. That's good for you. Man, I ain't trying to hear what you say. But there's some power in writing and saying that makes it more real for your mind than just thinking about it and keeping it in your mind. Step number two, research what it takes to be in that opportunity, to be where you want to be, who you want to be, and what you want to be. This step helps to clarify things. Once you're in this phase, you may realize that it's not as difficult to live that kind of life, to be in that place, or to do that thing that you've always been wanting to do. And once you've taken the action to perform this step, in some cases you may realize, man, you know what? It's a lot easier to do that kind of thing than I always thought it was. Or it's possible that you may realize that it's harder to do. Whatever the case, you'll have an idea of what it takes to be that kind of person, do that kind of thing, live that kind of life. Third, once you've got the details from your research, you gather them together and you make a plan to start taking the initial steps to move towards some of those things and you set a deadline on that plan. What that's gonna help you to do, it's gonna help you to kind of put a priority on trying to actually take action and be engaged in some of the things that help you to be more prepared for that opportunity because this is the interesting thing. Once you've actually start 
pursuing, moving toward that dream that you've been having, you'll notice things will start opening up that have never been available for you before. A whole new world, a new fantastic point of view. There may be people that you begin to talk to that uh, you never would have talked to. There may be things that you begin to see in your research that you never saw before. It's amazing how things begin to open up when you start making strides toward being the type of person and start doing the type of thing that you've always wanted to do. Now, this could potentially be a little intimidating. Once you've researched and figured out some of those steps, some of those steps may be kind of big. Don't fret. Break them down into smaller parts, because remember, the goal is not necessarily trying to be where you want to be tomorrow. The goal is getting in to that opportunity, being in that type of life, even if it's just at the front door, so that you're always ready if an opportunity within that realm becomes available to you. Four, take action on your plan. Once you've done the research, once you've made a plan, you've got to do something about the plan. You've got to actually get into those activities because that is really the core of the, the power of this concept. You stay ready by continuously doing things in the realm of where you want to be. That's really the secret. That's it. If you liked the video, give me a like. Please give me a comment. Let me know what I'm doing well, what I need to improve on. And if you like this content in general, consider subscribing to this channel. We're going to be dropping a new nugget every week and subscribe and let you know the minute that that thing hits YouTube. So I appreciate your time. We'll see you on the next.